I saw a plane, a nice plane, like a, a private jet owned by a rich person, fly into the Sage downtown airport today. That's that's the common place for those. I've individuals. never seen it happen. I live the in Cardinals the, fly out of the Sage airport whenever they travel. That's do they fly into it? Because I've I, yes, I don't I live I live in, I live like in the, the flight path. Airport. Yes. I've never ever seen one before. It is the closest airport to downtown. Sure. It's so like the downtown St. Louis airport. Yes. As yep. it's called. Except for it's not except for so it's like Sasha. sports, so blues, city, cardinals, they all all those players, all the people that want privacy and quickness of, you know, travel and return to the city center, that's where they fly out of. It's like, let's get the hell out of here. But the weird thing is I, I feel like getting to Lambert's actually not that bad. Because seventy from downtown to Lambert Lambert Lambert, Lambert Airport Lambert. is actually like fifteen minutes. It's not bad. Yeah, to get to the Sage one, you have to like yeah, basically go to Pops. Y- it takes fifteen minutes. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. What's this? Uh, this is Greg and Funko Pop form. Um, he deserves your love and attention, um, as he also deserves your money. <gasps> I, I pledge allegiance to Gregory F. X. Daly, the one to whom we owe it all. And to our taxes, which we'd prefer to be spent on literally anything right now as we sit on nearly $400 million from the NFL, the federal government, and budget surplus. 1% to the god of yellow envelopes ignored by all. This is overarching. I do think you messed up. I think I think said, it's good enough. I think you said R instead of uh, a different word. But you know, Wh- which we, one? What, what did I say? R. I think it's, it's okay. It's perfect. What did I say? Our <laughs> in two hour taxes. You'll never know. I said welcome to our overarching uh, <laughs> a podcast about the a same podcast w- about Gregory FX Daily. Apparently, apparently. thus far it is. Uh, it can be anything we want, baby. We're the little little fucking turtles in a pond, just kind of growing and being. There used to be a pond. I meant to say tadpoles. There used to be a big pond downtown St. Louis. A big one, like. Like flooding? No, 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 no. Like an actual pond, downtown St. Louis. There was it was like where forty is now. You sound old and out of touch. This, <laughs> this is I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you sound well. You sound you sound like how long ago was forty built down there? I don't know. Before our parents were born, probably, maybe not really. Uh, it was it was like early sixties, late fifties. This is overarching. A podcast about. The St. Louis ABCDs, E's, ABCDEs, the yeah. abysses, arts, business, culture, development, everything else. I'm yeah. Colin. I'm David, and I'm Bradley. So I have, I have, like everybody, um, you know, I I have a, a bad history of of or bad habit, excuse me, of, of of doom scrolling through comment sections about St. Louis anything like the Post Dispatch, the Business Journal. All of them. You could have just left it at doom scrolling. That's fair. Yeah. Any, yes. any. Trying to keep it hyper local, baby. One truth. <laughs> one truth we know about. And I, I and I, I, I look, I, I've seen other cities posts. I, I, I got to say St. Louis supremacy in this, in this really horrible way. I think we have the worst uh, habit of de- like degradating ourselves within comment sections of local print. And that is a. Tale as old as time in St. Louis, or at least as old as Facebook. So I have channeled that rage the one way I know how in writing a script, but not just any script. Uh, it is uh, a, nice, a nice little three-page little scene that is all taken word for word. Oh, my gosh. You've <laughs> written us parts. Out of, out of a comment Galen section. Galen has, has written us parts, guys. Brilliant. This is a real thing. I can not final draft and, and everything. And it's in the correct. <laughs> I love, I love the correct font. Interior St. Louis Post Dispatch <laughs> comment section. That is that is that is this week's. If you like it, we'll, we'll, we'll I'll I'll do this uh, a lot because it, it really was therapeutic for me to to do this. So can I say the title? I'm really excited to say the title. Yes, give me a second. Okay, I, this is so a great title. I have to I have to set title. this up with the fact that all of these comments are not changed in any way. Um, some of them, I've, I've written them to sound like, you know, a conversation where no one's listening to each other. But some of these are really like, you know, sub-threads within the comment section that are internal conversations happening. So 
There's no editing done at all, except for I've rearranged some of the stuff, and some of the stuff isn't actually rearranged. Uh, and that's that's about it. All right. Um, so as as actors, you know, Bradley and I are, are, are theater people, and David is a TikToker. And um, what? we... <laughs> I went to school for sports broadcasting. There is no better actor in the world than a sports broadcaster. Okay. That's a take. <laughs> um, didn't have that on my That's card. satire, by the way. That is, com- that is not At proven, true. You know? That's not true. I'm, okay. Um, That's a joke. But a piece, I don't know. I've you seen know, Joe Buck, the star of Citizen Kane. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I will say, though. I will say. Um, Bob Costas. I, will, yeah. I do love Bob Costas. It's a Wonderful Life. No, Bob Costas was in Pootie Tang. You're just saying what? St. Louis broadcasters right now. By Bob the way. Costas? Yes, is- Bob Costas was in Pootie Tang. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I think as himself. <laughs> okay. But yes. That's not as that's not as funny. Still. It um, was really no, it is as funny. It's even funnier, honestly. So let's let's set this scene. <clears throat> Interior. St. Louis Post Dispatch comment section. Title. Quote, forty percent of Bud Light drinkers willing to return, says ABC CEO. Just remember, when someone says they're an influencer, that rope can go both ways. Positively and negatively. Uh, just remember that when someone boycotts Bud Light, they're probably in the closet. 40% of Bud Light drinkers will return. The other 60% already knew that drinking Bud Light means you're gay. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. What a tool you are. By the way, nice vaccination propaganda in your pick, sheep. I don't drink beer. It just gives me indigestion. You need to make cute commercials again, like with the Clydesdales. And trans people slash gay people being cute. Cute. Horses. A lot of people feel let down. First, they sell it to another country, and then this. Bud Light isn't the apple pie of America anymore. Yet every conservative-owned business still sells Bud Light. Businesses should just stay out of political stuff. They're jeopardizing their workers' futures, in my opinion. Why not? Kid Rock is drinking Bud Light again. Nope, not after that devil Bill Gates got involved. If right-wingers want to stop drinking Bud Light just because of that, it's theirs and Kid Rock's problems. I saw it being sold at Kid Rock's bar in Nashville two weeks ago. He's so genuine. Only because he makes money on it. What part of his point are you missing? Do you not understand that KR has to purchase product to be sold in his bar? Do you think AB just gives products to KR? He's a trust fund baby who swindles just like Donald John Trump. LOL, you keep on owning those libs with your amber-colored piss water. Meanwhile, KR is still a complete phony like was explained above. You're really trying to debate Business practice with squirrel chasers? That is a bold move. You must be bored. Well, based on your court records, you aren't so great with money sense either. I will try not to lose sleep over your viewpoint, LOL. (gasps) Is that what you do? Fake stock, people? (gasps) Those court cases are available online. Take it up with the state if you don't like it. Working on 12-pack right now. (laughs) I'm on to the Natty Daddy Higher Alcoholic Beverage. I'm... Working on one. He will be back. Bud Light alienated their customer base, calling them fratty and out of touch. And BL's customers said F-U-K-C, you to A-B. I stopped drinking beer, but because I cut carbs from my diet. If people are deciding what they drink based on what's on the outside of the can versus what's on the inside, that's a whole type of stupid you can't correct. I love. This has, I been, love uh, this has been Reader's Theater. Yeah, I, I love that. The, like we we just we come to like a nice message at the end. It's all. It's what's on the inside that counts. Right. Yeah. Honestly, that is a. That's kind of like a ribbon. That's a little ribbon on that whole oh, thing. Little tiny bow on it. Nice. I write. Really, really good work there, Colin. Great investigative yeah, journalism <laughs> in the comments. I read section. I read through exactly two hundred comments. And here's the here's the thing. <laughs> uh, I love one of the, a lot of the comments were like, "This isn't news. Why are you stirring the pot?" Uh, St. Louis Post Dispatch, and, and normally I'd be like, whatever. But they did post that article twice in the same day, ten hours apart. <laughs> so that sounds right. <laughs> there was there was seventy three comments on one and one hundred and thirty seven comments on the other. So oh that's two ten actually. Yeah, two hundred ten comments. <laughs> so yeah, they, I, I feel like either the Post Dispatch media person uh, needs to pay attention to what they post. They post a lot of things every day. Most things on the Post Dispatch Facebook page don't have any comments on them because they literally post something every like 15 minutes. Wow. And then that 
is twice in the same day. Anyway. Welcome to whatever that Fox is. That's that's Fox like that broadcast Fox? for the World Series or something. I think that was like two. That. that was. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. We're gonna get copyright flagged for the accuracy of that. Honestly, we might. Uh, you sound, should I, you should sound I go just to, like a horn section. Should I go to like ESPN baseball because they're not doing that anymore? Go for it. Um, what's that shot. one? What's that one? So anyway, what is it? Oh, what's the ESPN baseball broadcast? ESPN, this no, is ESPN, no. ESPN, 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 ESPN. I've, I can't think of it because I'm just thinking of Fox. Do you want to? Wait, try- hold on. That might even be Fox. That might be. That might be NFL on CBS. Let's do a baseball draft. Yeah. Have you ever wondered what it was like to field a baseball team of famous St. Louisans, past and present? We're here to do that for you. We all know St. Louis is the best baseball players. Yeah, and and this is what if we use. I'm not going to lie. There have been <laughs> thousands upon thousands of comments specifically requesting this show from from us, from me. Oh, <laughs> just in the text chain, <laughs> just me. <laughs> just me. I've requested it. Oh, on on, on many uh, times on, in, at, in our group chat. Yes. Oh, in our group chat. I think <laughs> then on at St. Louis Realtor, the the home of David uh, Lemon. Where well, he lives. <laughs> he lives inside of a box. I live inside of so a. You so put a rectangle. Yeah. So we're playing a game. You put me there. We're playing a game. Should I set the scene? Set the scene. So this is a snake draft of famous St. Louisans. If we were to field a ten person baseball team, that includes the DH. Unfortunately, as our National League traditionalists would say i like the dh we're not going to argue about that right we're now. not we're not going to get into it if that means you know i can have shohei this year then great because he's not going to pitch so anyways yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna draft a team of baseball players we're gonna pick who we want in whatever position um they're all gonna be famous st louisans uh it's up to us to defend their connection to st louis and you can you know decide who wins or loses based on who has the best team and also if you think that the connection is too tenuous. Each team has to contain a maximum of two athletes, and none of those athletes can be former baseball players. I think that's only fair. I think that's fair, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Um, Because then we'd just be like, oh, Yogi Berra, Max Scherzer, you know? Yeah. That's just, that's Does Max Scherzer have connection to St. Louis? What? Yes. I didn't see him on the Wikipedia Born and raised. Really? Just won a World Series. Yeah, I know that His part. His second World Series. And, he, uh, and famously, he went on stage and went, I'm from St. Louis! Yeah, that boy's from St. Louis. <laughs> also went to Mizzou. Okay. Yeah. Famously, he went to the St. Louis. Famous, yeah, so famous. In the baseball world, absolutely, yes. Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, no, we, we all know who Max Scherzer is. That's not what we're talking about here. We did not know he was from St. Louis. Oh, that's unfortunate, yeah, that you didn't know. Um, David Fries and Ryan Howard and Luke Voigt all went to the same high school, so that's fun. Cool. At the same time? No. Be wild. No, different times. John yeah. Voigt, you said? Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt. John Voigt, RIP. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, so let's get into oh, is it. Is he kind of rough around oh, the edges? Rough. He's, okay. He's, 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 uh, he's a snake, national treasure. The way Snake Draft works he is. Uh, so, <laughs> way this works, we're going to determine draft order in a moment. Um, whoever gets first pick picks first, second picks, picks second, third pick picks third and fourth, and you go like back and forth on it. That's the snake. That's the snake. That's the snake. Uh, to determine. Uh, order, Ian is going to secretly write a number on his whiteboard between 1 and 100, and we're all going to select a number between 1 and 100, and 100 loops back around to 1. So it's like an ace. And, and we're gonna, yeah, we're, well, we're going to figure out who's closest, but like if you pick a high number and it's a low number, so you don't just like pick closest so to 50. So if like the number's 99 and I pick 2, I'm closest. Correct. Or unless you guys pick 1 or exactly. 98. So are we all writing numbers down or picking them individually? Ian's already written a number down on his whiteboard. What I'm saying is like, are we just saying them out loud at the same time so we don't have like our own, like we don't pick uh, based on what you're right saying? Now. Because if you like pick 90, then I'm picking lower than that. True, 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 You know true, what I'm true, saying? True, true, true. That's fair. Yeah. So let's like pick a number in our head and at the same time we'll all say them when we have to stick to them. Yeah. Okay? Ready? Three, two, one. 27. You... It's ninety nine and a half. So that's that's he, that's that's, uh, that's you. No, no, no. I'm I'm twenty one. It, it around. loops around. Oh, that's right. So, so it goes this way. Is what, who's closer between you and Colin? That would be me. You're closer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So. Oh yes, I got the two slots. No, 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 no. You get to well, you get to pick what. This is the order of picking slots. 
Oh, good point. I am going to pick the first pick, though. Okay. So, David, do you want... But I want the two slot. Okay. So, you get... All right. I obviously want the two slot. Like, all right. Come on. It's okay. I money balled this draft. Love it. We're... we're you're not picking my people, I promise. All Great. right. I, th- I feel like one person. I feel like I've got some good... You're right. not picking at least like four of mine too, <laughs> so I know that. All right. Um, are we ready to go? First first pick me. Yes. Um, I am going to pick my DH first um, just because he's got so many hits. And I'm so excited about this pick. I think it is a weak first pick, but I'm picking it because it's going to make David very, very angry. Oh, God. No. I'll give you a hint. You don't know me, but I'm your brother, Michael McDonald. That's such a good DH. I was, it's such a good I DH. I said I'm ready to fight. I said I'm ready to fight. I'd say there's a better position. I, in my mind, I was picturing Michael McDonald. And now I can say this because he's already on your team yeah. and it's taken. Yeah. Michael McDonald is the greatest utility player of all time. I mean, my, my first, my first, that's great. My first instinct was third base, but I, DH is where I got that, it. That bro is middle infielder, likely a, likely a, a shortstop because yeah. that dude just gets hits and hits and hits. They're not homers. They're just yeah. hits, hits, hits. Okay. Bradley, all right. Bradley picks all right. uh, Florissant's very own Michael McDonald. Yep, yep, yep. All right. With my first pick, um, I am going straight out of the gate for the greatest athlete to ever come out of St. Louis in center field, Jackie Joyner Kersey. Nice. That was the one that I knew you were the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great pick. That was definitely, definitely up okay. on my list. It's okay. I have a better center fielder than you anyway. Uh, b- Better than Jackie Joyner Kersey? No, you're not. Yes, Let's I, hear you're it. just not going to do it, buddy. Well, that I'm is the gonna... best pick in the draft, and I'm glad you didn't do it. But I'm not. still pick pissed three. about it. No, it's not. And here's why. You're right. You're right that Jackie Joyner Kersey is the greatest athlete to ever come out of St. Louis. And uh, I did have her in center field. But I actually have a pick that can play the entire outfield. Fuck the shift, am I right? I don't like in where this is going. center field, left field. And right field. You have to pick a position. Utility outfielder. Fine. Center field. Okay. You have to pick Sometimes a position. Sometimes he's center. Evan Peters oh. as Quicksilver. Yes. That's a good call. Or I as Jeffrey Dahmer sometimes. I and don't, then you can just eat the other team. That's great. You can have him. I don't like him as a like as an actor. Yeah. So I, Dang, smart time. smart pick. Fine. Weak early pick. Agreed. Like smart go, pick, but weak he early. He took my he took the one that, 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 that All I All right, that what's I your four slot? Oh my four slot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you used to wrap around. Yeah. Um, um, as DH, uh, but, and this is, this is my strongest pick. I'm not going to lie about it. And I think you'll all agree. Uh, she's not a strong hitter. She's not really good at much. Um, but I do want to give her a chance every, every time around the lineup to potentially get hit by a pitch. And that is controversially, Phyllis Schlafly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <That's, laughs> I, I like your she's reasoning. On my list is like somebody. <laughs> but you know what? If my from yeah. a baseball perspective, if uh, getting hit by a pitch, she's on base, baby. What's uh, what's the position? DH. DH. That's right. Okay. All right. That's right. The best Still. OB. Uh, what is the uh, yeah best OBS of all time? Yeah. Phyllis Schlafly getting hit by balls. Best OPS. Yeah, she's getting beamed. Yeah. Getting beamed, <laughs> like, towards the head. Beamed. Every every single time. Not backing the Bob and Gibson. Then, and then she gets beamed in the head. Beamed in the head. Not beamed in the head. Beamed It's both. Head. You can Is say both. Beamed? You can beam him. You can oh, beam, beam him. Ball. Uh, I mean, that's like yeah, well, Boston. Sure. They they coined it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the And then Evan Peters steps in as Quicksilver as pinch runner because... Phyllis Schlaff is out of the game. Quick yeah. yeah. Good. Actually, you know what? Forget it. I think we suspend the concussion rules for Phyllis Schlaff. <laughs> we just put her limp, passed out body in the in the in the batter's box. Mm-hmm. Take your base. <laughs> just make sure your your leadoff runner is a a, a slugger. There you go. Or I guess well, I guess UTH can go anywhere in the order. But yeah, okay. anyway, lead off on base every single time. Uh, in my shortstop position. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh, shortstops are usually you know, flair for the dramatic. Yeah. Right. Um, they, right, put out hit after hit after hit. Uh, you're going to take mine, aren't you? Yeah, I better. <laughs> I better because, man, this guy has an absolute wild card. 
you have no idea where he's going next. Uh -huh. yeah. Mr. Yeah. Miles Davis. Oh, wow. not what I was expecting. I thought, I, I think I know who your next pick is going to be. Yeah. Now, I, th if it wasn't Miles, I know exactly who your next pick is going to be. Uh, yeah, Miles Davis, I, I, I don't think I don't, I just don't want him, I, I don't want him not on my team. Yeah. He's got to be on my, he's got to be on my squad. That's great. That dude's nuts. Yeah. I, I need somebody like a Fernando Tatis Jr. to be on my team. Just a bonkers human being, yeah. you yeah. know? With, um, with talent out oh, the wazoo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, another guy with so many hits, um, my shortstop is Nelly. That's where I, I was like, like, if it wasn't Miles, it was it's a, And that's like, and Nelly, Nelly could have gone first round easy. Sure. I'm kind of surprised he didn't. So shortstop, I got Nelly. No need to explain. Um, yeah, no, no further yeah. explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have a great reason for this base position. Um, I'm sure maybe you can throw one out there. Um, but just another solid first round pick that like, you know, everyone's gonna be mad they don't have her. In first base, I got Maya Angelou. Damn it. That's that was my first so base cool. too. <laughs> she was not my first. I have first base as a very specific thing. Have I have first base and pitcher as a very specific yeah. Colin, thing. Yeah, Colin pulling up Wikipedia ferociously. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is true. And I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna try to pick things to make you. So make you got Maya at mm -hmm. first. I, I I I like your team so far, Bradley. I I like my team a lot. Said I came here to fight. I don't think you're gonna take one of my other, like I need on my team. I, I've got a few personal like yeah, favorites I've got that some, I don't I've got think some are personal. Go. So I I want to get some things out of the way that I think you guys are gonna go after, right? Sure, smart smart move, great strategy by David Lemon over here. What yes. you got? So I am going to at the hot corner, hot corner. Let's be very clear. Puts out ridiculous. Ridiculous bangers, long balls, mm -hmm. long balls, fan favorite always, never misses a game, never misses a game. They're not all like bombs, yeah. right? But they never miss a game. That'd be Miss Tina Turner. All right. R.I.P. T T Tina, Tina, turn around and get that double play. Yeah. Dude, I, 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 I'm really liking my squad right now. I'm very proud. Of, I'm very proud. I get two, right? Yeah. Because I, I, I thought that you guys would also go after her. That's that was my strategy yeah. there. Okay, with my first of two picks um, at shortstop, because girls got ups. She's graceful. Yeah, perhaps the most graceful to ever do it. <sighs> probably, no. probably on my list. Probably on my list. The superstar. Yeah. Ballerina. Yep. Oh, yep. Catherine, Catherine Dunham. Dunham. I, Catherine Dunham. Oh, I knew yep. you were going, Catherine. Oh, yeah. No, there, there, was, there was no way Kevin Fantastic Dunn was going pick. undrafted yes. here. I thought she would go top 10. And what a wonderful person. Like, where, like, where is she playing? Not, ju not just shortstop. Shortstop? Not That's just, a great not shortstop. Just that is a fantastic not just, shortstop. Not just points on the pick in shortstop, but also like great pick for like undisputably connected to St. Louis Absolutely. in every way. For my next pick, uh -huh. um, granted, Maya Angelou was my first baseman because, you know, wise old veteran, you need to pep to talk the team up. You go. I know why the cage bird hits fucking dingers. <laughs> <laughs> so you got that for yeah. sure. Yes. But first base as the, you know, spiritual captain of the team. She don't want nobody fucking with anybody in these streets. Mm -hmm. The Jennifer Lee. Yeah. Yep. Yep. God, yes. So good. Great pick. Ooh, I got a... Get some names off my list. Check mm -hmm. them off. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right. I need some flair for the dramatic on my team more than Miles. Uh, here's the thing. I I want my team to be showstoppers. And I feel like so far, I've just got a team that's just bonkers fun. You know? Yeah. I want more fun on my team. I feel like the correct answer is second base. Because this individual, you you for you forget about them from time to time. Second uh -huh. base, you consistently, but they have been there forever. Yeah, they are so reliable, and they're probably the most fun in the clubhouse too. All right, they're just like a good team player. That's uh, Mr. Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen. Again, I'm trying to take players. Yeah, that I think you would potentially take as well early. This is that's a big part of my strategy here, because I also have people that I, I doubt you're going to take. 
that I also really it's want. So but I swear to God, if you take this individual that I really, really want, <laughs> I'm going to be so pissed. All right. Uh, what, what would you say is the most technical position? Technical? Yeah. Defense? Or that would, like, te- technique-wise, yeah, that would be catcher. catcher without right, even sure. like a, All right, that's well, a million th- light this years. Is, this is not my catcher. I okay. got a different catcher. Um, You know what? Here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, this is a risky pick for pitcher, but Ooh. I think it's where he goes. Okay. Jack Dorsey. Why? Lock it in? Yeah, yeah, I mean, Lock I mean, it in. So te- technical is a little bit of a, of a pun on the technology thing. And I think just like, he's like entrepreneur of entrepreneurs and like not problematic yet. Uh, so it felt like... I have Phyllis Schlafly on my team. <laughs> I know. Well, I was, I was, you know, and I wasn't like, I like your reason for Phyllis. I wasn't going to pick, I was trying to not pick evil people. Um, I was just trying to get on base. That's I what think, baseball's I want, I want an evil person on my team. I'm saying that's not the cardinal way. Um, uh, uh, do you know who Miles <laughs> Michaelis is? Yeah, fair, do, fair, fair, fair. do we know that uh, <laughs> about the, the Pirates, uh, the Parrot Cocaine scandal? Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, had as little, as much to do with the Pirates as it did with the fucking... All pitchers, pitchers need, need good beards. beards. Yeah. So we need to pick a... Yeah. <laughs> no, it totally Sorry. does. I think it works way better. It's a good uh, bit. Instead of feeding me. So, so, so uh, Andy, yeah. Andy Cohen yeah, so, so, had but, a beard but, at one but, point, yeah. But Jack Dorsey, inventive, intelligent, you know, he's uh, he's going to come up with needs, what, needs, what needs to get come up with <laughs> to, to get us through. Great, great, yeah. <laughs> to get us through, you know. Uh, so that's that's Jack Dorsey as pitcher. Pitcher, all right. Um, Next, I'm going to throw him... In right field, just as a little bit of slander, because I've heard he can be a dick sometimes. Uh oh! But all extremely wealthy people can be a dick sometimes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, and this is not like one of the one of like the greatest ways to be connected to St. Louis is to not be from St. Louis, but to marry a St. Louisan. Um, and so, <laughs> am I going to piss you off, David? Maybe not only not only the the greatest. Mm. I'm not from St. Louis. I'm married to St. Louis. Yeah, it's great. Um, so uh, I mean, the greatest in so many ways. Some call him the great one, Wayne Gretzky, mm-hmm. in right field. I don't know. If Resident of consider, Huntley. I don't know if you can consider him as well. The comment section. Let's. Yep. You do what you will with it, audience. You decide. He chose to live here. Yeah, he did. I thought you were going somewhere else. Yeah. I'm glad you I'm glad you went that direction because I don't give a crap. But superstar. I mean just like and like the greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. The so goat like, of hockey. Like if we're if we're playing games. Yeah. I still think Connor McDavid could dangle anything around that man. Connor McDavid is the greatest hockey player of all time. I will die on that hill. Great. Who are you drafting next? <clears throat> uh I'm in like the, I'm in a, I could go like three different directions here, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go the obvious one for here. Okay. I'm going to go the obvious one. I need my catcher. I need my, co- my, my coach on the field. Wow. My coach on the field, whom, whom people look up to, whom everybody relies on without this person, St. Louis I, and I think the rest of the, the research world um, would be lesser so. And that's Mr. Joseph Pulitzer. All right. That's on my list. I think he belongs at catcher. You think that's a fair position? I think that's fair. Yeah. I think he belongs I there. I'm also going to drop my catcher next. And this is probably my most tenuous uh, St. Louis relationship on my list. Comments can decide, but he is on the people from St. Louis Wikipedia page. <laughs> the paragon Uh-oh. of sources. Someone's editing Wikipedia right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Um, I mean, he's definitely from Missouri. Catcher. I think I'm the only one in this room that's actually played the position. I'm incorrect. I have played catcher before. But did you? Very much so. You're a wicked pitcher, though. I can pitch, yes. Can you pitch and catch? Yes, I am. I uh, can do both <laughs> things very well. <laughs> a, catcher needs to be, <laughs> a catcher needs to be a great decision maker uh, that, above yeah. all else. That's why I was not a good catcher. <laughs> <laughs> he said, like, fuck this game. No, oh, I can't do like, this we'll anymore. make him a pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good, better listener. No. That decision making is so important. 
leadership skills. Are you just describing Joseph Pulitzer? I'm describing the type of person who not only would be a great catcher, but would make the really difficult decision to, let's say, drop an atom bomb. Oh, <laughs> he is not a St. Louis. D. He's on the fucking page. I just... Harry. S stands for S. Truman. <laughs> As someone who went to Truman State, he is in no way a St. Louisan. <laughs> but we're going to let it happen. I mean, it's on the page. We're going to let it happen. You know, arguably, he's more Kansas City than St. Louis. That boy is that boy is independence. Let me tell you. That, that man is yeah, from he's independence, basically Missouri. Kansas City. I, I, he must claim St. Louis somehow to be on that page. Like even, I'm I not don't, from here, and I even He is that. not a St. Louisan. Um, All right, do, I mean, do you want me to give a supplementary one, pick? One, two, three. Should, Should we, we have, have a bonus, bonus round, round for, for coach? coach? I have a couple on here. Okay, uh, and it's called manager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get him. Get him. All right, let's keep moving. Drag yeah. him. Don't save anybody. <laughs> um, my uh, supplementary pick at uh, at catcher, by the way. Uh, we can't, wait, 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 wait. We can't do extra picks. Oh, I know. I just I'm, I took off my list already. No, but, but, like, but what, we, if what, what if we? Oh, that's it? true. That's true. I yeah. doubt you did. Um, she's. I'll, I'll, no, I'll no, no. Later. Let's go. Let's go there later. Okay, fine. Let's go um, talk about ideas that we had later. All right. My most money ball pick first of, round of, of first this pick entire of, of this entire draft, and I'm really like I'm shocked he's still on this list that you two of all people did not pick him, because for the same reason, Michael McDonald. You know, but we all know Michael McDonald turns out hits. This guy, a local guy, turns out hits that are largely underappreciated, but they are hits nonetheless. And a hit, baby, is a hit. And I'm talking about the Pokemon Park. Yes, hey, it was on my list. At what position? Um. Whoa, whoa. Um. You haven't thought about the position? No. Wow, well, you guys, guys picked so many of my this freaking guy people. Sucks. Yeah. Uh. Let's let's say. Uh. Do I have anybody in right field yet? I mean, other than Evan Peters as Quicksilver. Yeah. Let's put him in the right field. Pokey Lafarge is the best baseball name, though. Oh Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Pokey Lafarge is easily, hands down, the best baseball name here. Yeah. Uh, I'd say Tina Turner is probably the next best. Yeah. It's an alliteration. Turner's a very sportsy last name to have. I like it. Yeah. Uh, for my sixth round pick, I'm going to take, I'm going to take my next athlete because I'm afraid, um, I want the best living athlete in St. Louis to come from St. Louis. David Lemon. Yeah. I have, hello. David I'm a, um, my, uh, my right fielder, cause this guy definitely has a gun, like has a gun. Um, I'm leaving my DH for somebody else, but this is my, um, this is my second athlete. The great, I, I think, the greatest physical specimen to come out of St. Louis, that'd be Mr. Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics. Whoa. Right. Whoa. He said physical specimen. He is a specimen. Let me, dude, <laughs> that dude can get it. Okay? From you? No, probably not. It sounds like it. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm just in love with man, that's all. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. I've told my wife my feelings for, for Jason Tatum before. My, I had, another, that's athlete. How, that's how I had another athlete that I desperately wanted on my team, but you left Jason Tatum on the board, so I have the two best athletes to come out of St. Louis, and I'm happy with that. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Got to figure out. Did you, did you get... No, no, I just like I just had like a bunch like I pulled just a bunch of names that I thought would play oh, well. I'm just so I'm, mad and about I'm just trying to like Donald from the get go. I feel That's like such a dick move like from the beginning. You were yeah. like, I'm gonna make my first pick all about crapping on my best friend. It's called strategy, baby. No, it's not. It's just called me. <laughs> it's called strategy. You wanted the second pick. Yeah, I did. You said it out loud. I did. I did. Uh, yeah, I, I put myself there. I yeah, put yeah, myself yeah. there. Yeah. No, but he put himself in the first. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to have to skip over some huge names there are to some, go for the players I want. There are some massive names To go names for the players the I still. love. And so I'm going to turn that corner. I've got enough big names on my list that I can get a final round big name, no problem. So I'm going to go for the ones that I don't think you got on your list, but I just like turn around that I love. I'm going with two artists. Um, first one, uh, I'm going to call it third base. Hits above his weight out of town, but great things for town. In his time, unappreciated, underappreciated in St. Louis, um, went over to Europe and like did some good things. But from here, 
Oh. From here, um, I've I have met his son. Okay, yeah, um, got it. And got it. The man who gifted over forty sculptures to St. Louis County to found Laumeyer Sculpture Park, Ernest Trova. Yeah. If you don't know, Trova's you need to know. Pick. No, he's right. Trova's a great pick. A uh, fun huge. fact. Fun fact about Bradley. Uh, any one of you, any any one of you watching this show right now, could contact Bradley. Apropos of nothing, and he will, for free, give you an unauthorized walking tour of the Laumeyer Sculpture Park. This is true. And I'm not going to lie, it's better than pretty much any other tour in St. Louis that you have to pay for as well. This dude this dude really appreciates St. Louis art. Ernest um, Trove is a great pick. Yeah, and now I'm going to pick I my... I third play. third base makes sense for yeah. Trove. Uh, I'm going for my catcher now. A little bit d- doesn't necessarily... Won't immediately sound like catcher, but let's look at a couple things this guy's got. Um, he has borne witness to so much in the world. Like most of his art is just like cataloging some of the greatest tragedies of human of the of like the early twentieth century, Titanic, World War One, World War Two. Um, and so I think when we think about the catcher as like general experience, like he's seen it all and he's going to give it to you straight until like, this is some bad shit going on. And, but like, you know, he's, he's got a response to that bad shit. And on top of that, being a visual artist and a painter, I think he makes sense as a catcher because he's probably pretty good at framing. And that is Max Beckman. Oh, God. that's such <laughs> That is such a good <laughs> description. Not really. That good really at framing. at the end. Max Beckman, man. Oof. Bradley, that's 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 hilarious. I didn't have Max Beckman on my list. Uh, I really uh, now that now that he's out there, I'm kind of mad that he's not on my list. My DH. I still don't have a DH because I I don't think there's. Any not a better one than Phyllis Schlafly. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> sure, that's in your opinion. I, I think they're. She gets on base a hundred percent of the time because <laughs> everybody's gonna hit her. I want somebody when they walk up to the plate. I I want the entire crowd to be like, this person is going yard. Mm-hmm. This person, like a DH, base is loaded. My DH comes up. There is nobody in the building. No doubts. No doubt that this person is going to swing as hard as they possibly can out of their shoes. That's SZA. Hey, <laughs> all right. Yes. Respect. God, I love SZA. <laughs> That's my D. I'm so proud of my DH. I've, I've been sitting on that. I've been like, stay, stay, mm. stay, stay, stay. I still don't have a pitcher I, because I don't think you're going to take it. Neither picture. does Colin. Well, I, I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to. Uh, so these these next two picks are not really interchangeable um, because one of them is the beefiest, the baddest person to ever come out of St. Louis. And the other one is the paragon of consistency. Has he, has he had some bad outcomes as far as his movies are concerned? Sure. Almost all the time he is on screen, it is perfect. So do we want consistency at pitcher or do we want strength at pitcher? And I think consistency wins every time. So strength is going to third base. These are my next two picks. Okay. At third base, because he's got the guns as a WWF champion. Yep. And he's got the guns. Yep. Probably as the Republican mayor. Of Knox County, Tennessee. Yep. 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 Kane! Kane was on my list. At third base. <sighs> I hope I backed away enough from the mic for that. <laughs> and um the paragon I love Kane. That's a of good pick. On screen consistency. By the way, that was my that was my second athlete. I guess my first athlete now, uh, because you you stole uh you stole what's his what's her face yeah, Jackie Joyner Yeah, Jackie Joyner. So I guess I do have room for another athlete. You I wasn't do. even thinking about it. You should take another athlete. I was just going for the law. I think we required taking two athletes. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, Matt Ballet good is point. A sport. 
Uh, well, it is. I agree. Ballet I'll is a sport. An That's an, she is an athlete. She I'm, is an I'm athlete. I'm a progressive. I'll count her as a sport. I'll count her as a sport. Oh, no. <laughs> Good sport. I think we count her as an athlete because we count Kane as an athlete. I, I think they both. I think, I think no, they I, both acquire crazy, and, and they're both crazy like, amounts of they're athleticism. They're both performative athleticism too. Yes, that is true. And not that the athleticism Good is performative. Good pull, Ian. There Great. You know. And my pitcher. Yo. The paragon of on-screen consistency. You said paragon twice now. The parrot. The porygon. The paragon. Porygon. The porygon too. <laughs> the porygon. Of, <laughs> of on-screen <laughs> consistency. Chuck's dad. <gasps> oh, the Scott, Scott Bacula. <laughs> Chuck's dad. <laughs> Chuck's dad. What a pull. I think my wife for that. She. Uh, what a pull. <laughs> true story. Um, so my favorite band ever is Cake. And the first Good time man. I ever played a short skirt, long jacket for my wife, she's like, oh, it's theme song from Chuck. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and now, and then we got divorced. Anyway, um, go ahead, David. <laughs> I'm just afraid that this person's going to come off the board. Um, I think there's better. No, 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 no. I'm going to stick to, I'm going to stick to my guns here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Somebody that's always in the lineup. Like, and then when they're out of the lineup because they they got pulled for rest, and then you realize that they actually were like like Yachty was just like oh he was in actually he was actually in Puerto Rico with his basketball team and he can just do whatever he wants and I I want that person as my first baseman. Mm-hmm. Um, dude's got a filthy mitt, can dig things out of the dirt. Turn nothing into something. Look, make he can make things that are weirdly not beautiful, beautiful. It's Mr. Vincent Price at first base. All right, I didn't. I don't remember seeing that on the on the Wikipedia page. List. I didn't either. What's oh. the, what's the connection? What are you talking about? To St. Louis, Vincent Price. He sure is such there. a big fan. Yeah, he's of on. Louis. He's on the. He's on the. He's, he's on the on wiki it. list. He's on big it. time. I was thinking about saving him for. Uh, Bonus manager lightning round, but I just want him on the team. In left field, Harold Ramis. It's good. Uh, fun, fun, fun fact, Harold fun story. Ramis. You know, from like from Chicago, went to school here. Um, and also, if you look at his Wikipedia page, um, shortly after uh, graduating from college here, spent some time working in like mental health care facility here in town, um, and like has basically said, um, all my time working with the mentally ill prepared me for my time in Hollywood and dealing with those personalities. That's such a good, that's such a good quote. And and kind of a burn. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, he's a comedian. So like, uh, but yeah, you you delivered it with such like, well, it's not the real, but yeah, it's look it up on Wikipedia. The real quotes there. Um, Harold Ramis at left field. So you've got your center field. I got center center field and second base base left. All right. Yeah. Where are we Um, going? You know what? All right, here's what I'm going to do. It, uh, I'm going to go ahead and center field someone who can catch them from far away and send them where they need to go. Mary Meacham, oh. abolitionist. Underground Railroad, ferrying people across the Mississippi into free Illinois. It's just like kind of a, a stoic person, too, you would imagine. I feel like a center fielder has to be that kind of individual. They either have to be like stoic or the other extreme, yeah, like hot, yeah. just like a hot head, yeah, or Harrison Bader, hot head, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hot, just Dude, hot, just hot, hot, yeah, yeah. Mustache on Harrison Bader, up or down? I think mustache on anybody is a good thing. Was he the one that grew the mustache? No, it was Matt Carpenter. That was like. Matt Carpenter who had a had a friggin' rug on his. He sure lip. did. Dude, it was a little little caterpillar that was up there. Nice little mollusk. I loved it. Um, I want to go. Oh, this is so hard. Oh. Okay. All right. I have okay, I have two picks left. My round nine pick. I've got pitcher left and I've got left field left. Leaving your pitcher as your last pick is a different like difficult move, but I don't think you're gonna pick this person yeah. and I've picked this person to be my last pick as my pitcher. Yeah. Just for a fact, and I doubt you're going to pick this person. So uh-huh. I'm going to go left field. I mean, I have some big names. And there's still a lot of big names out there on draft. Some surprising. Right. Some like, surprising big I, names Honestly, like this might be the most surprising name that's out there. 
Ah, no, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go with him. I'm not going to go. I want my team to be fun. Yeah. I don't think these, they, they could be fun. They could be really fun. But I want somebody that's just, I, I want a crazy fun atmosphere. I want my, I want my team to be the, what the Arizona Diamondbacks were mm. this year. Losers. I want them, I want them to be, <laughs> dude, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, for real. I want them to just have some craziness about them. In I, left field. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to go this direction, do I? You do. I mean, this is a this is a, a show that functions only Famously on audio good and video. Maker, David Lemon. Mm, no, no, no. Got it. <laughs> Fighting demons. Got it. I don't care if this person was bad. They are batting leadoff in left field. I think this person in their prime actually would have been a good defender. I think they would have been a better defender than Kyle Schwarber, who got moved to DH, who I am comparing this person to, because uh-huh. I imagine this person bats left-handed and just has a filthy left-handed swing. Yeah. Um, reminds me of this person a lot, but I just love this person way, way, way more. Uh, batting leadoff because their OPS is just so good when it comes to just hitting dingers. Uh-huh. John Goodman. All right. He's that one. was a long-winded explanation. Sure, sure, sure. I do apologize. No, it's, I mean, like, John, John Goodman and is, like, one of the payoff. most... John Goodman is one of the most recognizable and the first people who come to mind when you think about famous St. Louisans. That's what I was saying, big um, names on the board. So, so I was like, I don't want to take him. I don't want to take him. I do. Surprise took him this long to go. Right. But, yeah, great. I just like the guy a lot. Yeah. He is the voice of the aquarium. Yeah. It is true. He's the voice of uh, lots of things in the airport as well. These are both not exciting, but they are practical. Like the movie Moneyball. <gasps> I, I enjoy it. I did too, but you also very much enjoy practicality. Moneyball is a fantastic movie. It sure is. I don't love Moneyball in practice. Oh, I do. It's only fun the first time. I love Moneyball in practice because I grew up with the 1997 Miami Florida Marlins. Marlins. The who? Florida Marlins. Sorry. Thank you. They're called Miami Marlins now. Yeah, yeah they yeah, weren't yeah. then. When I they agree. They should be called. They shouldn't be called the Florida series. Marlins because they're Tampa Bay Rays now, but like, whatever. That's fair. Yeah. All and, right. So who's your 9 10? Jaguars. <laughs> the baseball team, the Jacksonville yeah, Jaguars. Well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, they Actually, play in last London, year, basically. I mean, last year, they we were pretty football good. football and baseball Cardinals well, this year, in the they're same six and two. one time. The Jaguars are 6-2. Yeah, they're pretty good. And the Dolphins are pretty good, too. They haven't played a bunch of good teams yet, and then they played the Chiefs, and they laid an egg. So That's fair. Um, the Chiefs aren't that great of a team, in my opinion, either. I'm going to go with my movie star and then my weird pick. Love it. At second base, as his character. Okay. Oh, you've got a, like you've got like three people that are as their Just characters. One. Oh, you have Mr. Well, Evan, Evan Peters. Peters can do both. He can either run the entire outfit and then or you've got eat the opposing team. You've got so, like you know. <laughs> let's talk about. It. And then you've got either way. That's great. I win. You've got Phyllis Schlafly as herself. Yeah. You have all these other people she's as a themselves. She's she's a character. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's not a character. She existed, David. I hate to tell you. Nah. <laughs> I, I I hate to admit it. She didn't exist in her own mind, bro. <laughs> um. Who do you who do you think Phyllis Schlafly? Is? I don't know. I have no idea. I have hearsay. Under the mask. <laughs> huh? Who is she really? <laughs> <laughs> um, playing second base. For the same reason I have Catherine Dunham playing shortstop. Unlimited range. Upwards, outwards, wherever. Honestly, could probably play the whole infield by himself. All he has to go is... And a little thing shoots off his head. Get the ball. Oh, boy. We got Sean Gunn as Craglin at second base. And now the pick that surprised me. I'm I'm glad I learned this about St. Louis. Uh from What's with What's with You said this was second base? Second base. What's with you guys in leaving like second base for your for your ending picks? Again, I like I said, from mine, the most forgettable position in baseball for some reason is yeah. second base. I don't it's, know why. It's it's the it's the left-handed shortstop, but it's not. But it, I mean, no, I mean it, that's why it's important. Many second basemen are left-handed batters though. This is everything. That wasn't what I was. I mean, it was just like it's it's it important a, it to shortstop is on the other side. Yeah. It is a or uh, switch hitters. I debated putting this person as manager, but I'm not going to because I'm holding out. Because uh, my last big name is sitting going in left in field. that spot, going in left field, just because we need, you know, we got some smart people on the team, but we need the smartest person ever on the team. Joseph Pulitzer, <laughs> the holder of the world record. For the 
highest recorded IQ. What? What? Marilyn Von Savant from St. Louis. Are you for Missouri. real? Yeah. That's a real thing. <laughs> That's a real fucking thing. I, who is this person? Why are they in left field? They should be your catcher. But Harry Truman. <laughs> Harry should be in left actually, field. Actually, drops bombs. Harry, Harry should drops be undrafted. Bombs. Left fielders drop bombs, bro. Well, they don't want to drop bombs. I want to hit bombs. He probably did that too. Yeah, I would have. Okay. Dra- I would have drafted right. Emperor here. That's fine. What is that. this person's name? I've never heard of. Marilyn, Marilyn von Savant. When when Marilyn von Bo- Savant. Bo- Bo- Voss actually. Voss Marilyn Voss Savant. Voss Savant. Born Savant. died. Other notable things are like being like a the word pants. Savant. Wait, is that where the word comes from? Well, the word means something, but I'm I'm gonna assume that this woman's popularity in the early 19th century or the early 20th century was why we popularized the word I w- Savant. I was yeah. Smart thinking, Einstein. Is that savant. why we call it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to me. Yeah. And then Bradley with the last pick. Yes, I'm so excited. There's yeah, two tell us about your picture, David. All right. I will, remember, my team is full of... Fun, fun, fun. And just like... We get it. Wacky weirdos. For the likes. Oh, God. This person, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I want somebody... Are you going to say it? ...who's filthy. Just filthy yeah. stuff. Yeah, Like, 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 remember Carlos Martinez for the Cardinals? Remember Carlos Martinez? Yes. No? Okay. I don't. Anyway, probably doesn't either. Had like <laughs> the the most <laughs> disgusting two seamer that would just tail off. Oh 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 oh! Now that you mentioned two seamer, yeah. Up. But like, I want a pitcher that's filthy yeah. and for some reasons never like in the right mindset and like <laughs> like is always just so. I want I want somebody who's disturbed uh, going out uh-huh. on my mound. Somebody. Who every once in a while does something so ridiculous, and you're just like, I really don't like that person as a person. Not to say that about Carlos Martinez. I'm okay you're with that. You're really Martinez. shitting on Carlos Martinez. Right? I, he's I'm crazy. I'm fine. He's filthy. I'm fine with Carlos he's... Martinez. I'm fine with that. Yeah, but he, and sh- he and I share a birthday. They write book after book after book after book, and they're just full of filth. Just left and right, this person, mind you, also, super far right leaning, like a oh. good ace pitcher will be, like oh Adam gosh. Wainwright <laughs> and Miles Michaelis <laughs> and Chris Carpenter. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, Mrs. Joyce Meyer. Whoa! Wow, there you go, Joyce Meyer. Ian's freaking out. Kirkwood oh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is filthy. You know what she dreams about at night. <laughs> you know what she dreams about at night. Donald Woo. John Trump. He ne- wow. Not what, a, what a pick. Oh, I love Joyce Meyer. What, <laughs> what a pick. God, she's disgusting. What a buildup, too. That was that was good payoff. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. I got so many things on the list. Who's going who's gonna to round up my team and make them beat your team? I got Jack Dorsey. I got Max Beckman. I got my Angelou, Ernest Strobin, Nellie Wayne Gretzky, Her- Mary Meacham, Harold Ramis, Mike McDonald. Uh Thank you for just like replaying things back on purpose to try to make it seem like you have the best roster, but you I don't. do. Um, no, you don't. It's a it's an eclectic roster, but I think the magic happens in between the. Uh, oh, I love my team. There are several undrafted huge names. Yes, I'm going to leave. Those my picks from those off for the bonus round manager pick. I also we either should have like some other pick for like just like a weird one off, or we should talk about undrafted folks. Um, but for second base, second base, you want a young guy. You want someone who you know is. You want a young guy. I don't know. <laughs> That's his only redeeming this is, quality. This is, this is your <laughs> explanation. <laughs> want a young guy. <laughs> um, Great explanation. But, and you know, here's the thing. You're going to uh, say their name and they're going to be like 50. Well, but here's, here's, the, th- here's the thing. Um, well, some of these people that we've said are dead. Well, all right. <laughs> this is very true. I was about to say something and then stop myself because it's literally true of almost everybody on the list, but I'm going to say it anyway. Like one of our favorite Cardinal second baseman, hometown boy. And so I've got my f- second uh, athlete pick. Hometown boy, oh. Uh, oh. went to the same high school as Wayne Gretzky's wife and me. Oh, Miguel oh. Perez. Perez, Miguel Perez, Miguel Perez, Go Pattonville Tigers. Now, uh, who's to who's to say Joe Michael McDonald wasn't an athlete in his prime? Go Pattonville uh, Pirates, Indians. 
Is it the Pirates? It's the Pirates. I Thank was you. saying no to college. Pattonville Pirates. I um, went to the high school whose mascot was Indians. At least yeah. you didn't go to the Columbia High School midgets. Well, that still exists in Freeburg. I thought it still existed in Columbia. Louis. Oh, it's in Freeburg. It's in Freeburg, oh my Illinois. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Freeburg There's midgets. a couple of them. It's a real uh, thing. So, so, so for bonus round, there's one up in northern Missouri. Yeah, it's, you know, you know why? I mean, like, I it's gross and weird, but it's the midget. It's family. like near Milan. It's the midget family that a lot of those are named after. I know because I'm related to them. <laughs> You're related to the midget family. I'm related to the midget family, and get this: in my 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 mother's side of the family in Marion, Illinois, there is. And this is not funny, okay? It's not funny. Sounds like it's about to be. Uh, there's, a, there's one of the midget family guys who married a person named Short. Yeah, that's not funny. Not funny. Um, <laughs> let's. I completely beg to differ. And, let's. So let's. And, and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hyphenated. Are you for real? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they really hyphenated. Do they go midget short or short midget? Because uh, they better go midget short I, or I else that would be a, a liability. Yeah. <laughs> Move on. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> bonus bonus round. Let's pick a manager, and let's also pick like no, someone. Let's let's pick someone who was like Friend? a draft pick that never got out of the minors. Oh, I'm uh, what? No. Like like I want to. I want to. No, let's just do. Let's I'm going to pick my manager because he's the best one. What are we? Are we just continuing the order on this? Or are we doing reverse order for manager? We'll do. We'll do reverse order. So you yeah. go. You go now. I go first. Okay. Thank you. And then I'll go, and then you go. I have the best okay. one. All right. A deep knowledge of the game. I almost put Marilyn Foss Savant. Oh, okay. I this, see what you're doing. In this, in this category. but Of baseball? Ma- Marilyn's, Marilyn's smart. Mm-hmm. Marilyn's the smartest, in fact. But does she know the game? She probably could learn the game, which is why she's in left field, but she doesn't know the game. This guy, potentially all he knows is the game. The greatest baseball announcer of all time. The Eric Harris. Yeah. And I've been both a Cubs fan and a Cardinals fan in my life, and I'm not afraid to admit it. And he spit on my dad. Probably for good reason? No, just because he, like, he, like, he walked like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. My dad was a porter for the Cubs for a long time and right. like used to haul Harry Carey shit up to his... He yeah. used to stand under the window and just get rained on. Nice. But the deepest... Not, I mean, like, uh, he's, the, he's, yeah, a, yeah. he's a great that's, freaking manager. It's fair. It's all right. But you okay were going to say Joe Buck, weren't you? No, I was going to say Bob Costas. As a baseball announcer? I think the like way sports, yeah, I think the way that Bob Is that who you're picking? Is a sto- no. Oh, I was going to say the way that Bob is a storyteller. Yeah. Makes him a better broadcaster. Um Oh, I, I don't care about his broadcasting skills. I care about his deep knowledge of the game. Sure. Sure. Then I'd go Jack Buck over that. How do you keep this in your head? I believe I used to be a, more important uh, I used to things be a, uh, are not there. I used to be a St. Louis Cardinals historian. That's why, <laughs> like professionally. Yes, I am still to this day the youngest St. Louis Cardinals historian. Uh, yes, That's yeah, a, he, like he, he gets tours. He gets tours at the stadium. My, my title was tour guide his, slash historian slash museum coordinator, something like that. That sounds like they're not paying you enough. Uh, they paid me like sixteen dollars an hour. And no benefits, so no. Uh, my manager pick. My team's fun. Remember? Yeah. My team's the most fun. Oh, we remember. I want. I want comedians. I want ridiculous people to be in the presser right. after post game press. The I want them to just be so awesome. Yeah. Who's that football guy that everybody likes on TikTok right now? We're gonna say it at the same time. You ready? One, two, three. Nikki Cedric the Glazer. Entertainer. Oh. Nikki Glazer. I forgot she was from St. Louis. She is freaking hilarious. More women in leadership, am I right? Uh, yeah. You're, you're good. You're a good one. You're one of the good ones. Bradley. Pick me. We women know. in leadership? Okay. How many? <laughs> let's let's count how many women we have on our team. Well, hey, Bradley. I have to pick my manager. One. I have two. I have two. I have oh yeah, two. two. I have two. I have two. two. I have, Bradley's I have, got two. I have two women. Bradley's got two. Colin has one. One of those. Ones, is, I, one have is a I have a ton. I have Catherine Dunham. Two. I have Jennifer. I'm not counting Phyllis Schlafly. I have three. Three. That is a ton. And David has not counting Phyllis one, Schlafly. Two. He said one, three, four, five of his eleven. All right, my manager. Oh, so, that means it's a minority still. Oh, I'm the worst. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um. I'm the worst. All right. Sorry, guys. I had two. I have two big, big names on my list. At first, I thought manager. Someone like a Tom Hanks type in a league of their own. You just want, you want a drunk. 
right? You just want a drunk in the in the hot seat, just like to get people motivated. It's like we got to take this into our own hands. He and already make took Harry Carey. <laughs> well, and so I didn't. I didn't take the other president on this list, Ulysses S. Grant. Ooh. I did not take Ulysses S. Grant as my manager because really, what we know about all sports, baseball specifically, it's all about rhythm. It's all about getting into your rhythm, holding your rhythm, and throwing other teams off their rhythm. And who, who is the great granddaddy of that syncopated rhythm? It's Mr. Scott Joplin. Yeah. That was a reach, but I appreciate it. I, I, I appreciate the explanation and getting us there, but I think it's a poor pick. I still would have taken Grant. Vote for me. He was a, he was a general. All right, tell us who won. Tell us who won the draft. <laughs> Me. So <laughs> all you need to do is just type David Lemon into the comments, <laughs> and, and that'll tell us. <laughs> and that'll tell us who won. Yeah, uh, this Can, was this was really fun, and more importantly, all hail Gregory FX Daily. All, all hail, hail Gregory, Gregory FX, FX Daily. Daily. This is overarching. This has been overarching. Recorded at Fly North Theatricals and residents of the Cranberg Arts Foundation here in beautiful Grand Center, St. Louis. I'm Colin. I'm David. I'm Bradley. Check us out at Overarching, St. Louis. Boys, that's a good episode.